Duke, owned by Stuart and Alexis Utter. Okay, what I'm going to show you guys, okay Duke, is just some things as far as using the tone or the come command, you know, when you're out just running them. And this would pertain to when he's out, you know, out in your yard, um, <clears throat> in your fenced in area, if you're trying to get them back. But mainly when I'm doing this kind of stuff, if he's within about, oh, say 25 yards, which is a, those bigger trees right there, about 25 yards. I don't know how it looks on my camera, but that's about 25 yards. And he can, as long as he's in, you know, that big circle around me, I'll leave him alone. So if he's like right now, he's just hanging around me. I don't say anything to him. I just kind of keep walking. You can see what he's doing, sniffing around, checking stuff out. But what I'm going to show you is like using the tone if I need, you know, want to mix that in. So basically, the tone is another way to get him to come back. It's the only thing it's for, not for anything else. That's because it's connected to the come command. And in his case, I'm using the come command for his recall. A lot of the other dogs I'll use here. Um, a lot of that's for the hunting dogs, even though I do get a lot of clients that just prefer that command. So whichever one they want is the one I'll teach them. Might get a little breezy here, so hopefully you can still hear me as I come out into the open. If we get out in the open, he might want to run. He'll get out a little more. But like you can see, if he's just hanging around, I'll leave them alone. So there's about the 25 yards right there. So I'm going to tone him pretty quick here just to show you. And this exercising your pup is a big deal because they need, you know, to get out and run. So I'm going to tone him right there. You saw what he did. He came in. So I might tell him heal sit and occasionally I will give him a treat just for, for that effort okay and release him on okay actually when I first start teaching him the tone I will base it off treat recall because most dogs of course you know are pretty driven by eating stuff so I'll just use that to my advantage And there's, you know, smells out here because there's quite a few mule deer out in this area usually in the morning. So that's probably what he's sniffing at. Right there. Calm. So there, I just said calm. He came. No correction. So the key is if you say come and he doesn't come back, the next time you're calling him, you need to use the, the feeling of your collar, not the tone sound stimulation feeling and while you're holding that down two seconds of course is the tension span length so that's the whole longest you would hold it down and while you're holding it you repeat the come command and if he didn't come back start heading back in those two seconds and go to the next level so it's a progression of changing every two seconds on the tone the difference is that becomes your initial command to come back if he doesn't respond to the tone command there again then you would go to your electronic collar feelings and start that two second process of, of holding it down to repeat the command while he's you know coming back he doesn't come back and you change it come that oh boy now he's into the holy roller let's go okay But at this point, you know, he you can tell he he's just kind of hanging around me, which is what he, really what I want. I don't want to be constantly having to correct him or constantly calling him. So right now, if it was just myself, I really wouldn't be saying anything. I'd just be walking, and he probably hear my voice is kind of kind of keyed off that a little bit. So in this case, instead of the tone, I'll say. Calm. Good boy. No correction. Good boy, Duke. <clears throat> and just move on. 
And every once in a while, in an open area like this, I'll just stand in one spot. Because a lot of the dogs that really like to run, I'll just stand in one spot and let them, as they get to that circle edge, recall them. And they'll head back and I'll just leave them alone. If they get to the edge of that circle, I'll recall them. Okay. Good boy. So I wanted to just kind of show you guys a little bit on the same application out in the yard, your yard. If he's out there, if he doesn't, you know, I would probably initially use your voice more than the tone sound just to get that down with him because then you're correcting the sound of your voice so he understands that that com come commands connected with him heading towards you so when you go to the tone sound if you need to back that up with your voice he's already conditioned okay he's already conditioned to follow through with that like i said there's lots of smells out here Even though he's not too far away, I'm just going to tone him right there. Boy. I might say heel. Sit. So that's Duke, owned by Stuart and Alexis. Okay.